went live yesterday. I went on the Jet Lounge. Shout out to them. If you're a Jets fan, you definitely need to be going going and you know checking out their website, uh, JetLounge.com, as well as their uh, you know Twitter. And then with the Jets, if anyone's interested, um, you know I did. I got Jalen Carter pick five. I understand. Look, I think the Jets are gonna win eight to ten games this year. You can put it in the book. I think that. Uh, but you know, I used a mock draft database, and so for that reason, they had him picking fifth. So I had them taking Jalen Carter, defensive lineman out of Georgia. I think with the uncertainty about Quinn, uh, Quinn and Williams long term, um, you know, all of that, I think Jalen Carter makes sense. Then Connor McGovern contract year, I had them going out and getting Jarrett Peterson or Jar- Jarrett Patterson, excuse me, the center out of Notre Dame. Um, you know, he's the best center in the draft. Owen Papo, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but the linebacker out of Auburn is like the next, uh, and hopefully, you know, Dylan Moses like finds his stride in the NFL, but he's like the next Dylan Moses essentially, uh, you know, in college, as you know, that type of level of talent and athleticism. As long as he stays healthy, he's going to be fine. Uh, then I have the Jets selecting Blake Freeland out of BYU, who is the uh, basically the protection there for Zach Wilson at BYU. So that makes sense. DeMarvian Overshone from Texas, very talented. Then I added Jadon Hazelwood and Ronnie Hickman uh, to wrap up the draft and add some depth. So 